Should you wrestle in the off season? All right, this is a question I get a lot, and it's a very valid question to new wrestlers. It, like, I didn't wrestle for one off season, and I personally regret it. I think that it was a huge mistake. I could have gotten much, much better in that time. And in this video, I'm gonna go over reasons why you should or shouldn't wrestle in the off season. But first, stop what you're doing, take out your phone, and follow me on Twitter at IsaacGo464, okay? I made a new Twitter. I lost the password to my old one and I had like no followers on my old one. So definitely go follow me. I'm trying to like, I'm gonna start tweeting like about whatever I want. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, show your support, help me get big. I'm trying to get this channel as big as I can because I wanna make new content. I wanna bring you guys vlogs of like the team that I coach. So I think that'd be really cool. Like off season wrestling vlogs and then we get, put highlights and stuff. So if you guys wanna see that, show your support, help me get to 5K. But just jumping right into this, you guys, should you wrestle in the off season? The short answer is if you enjoy winning, if you like winning, right, you like getting better at things, then the answer is yes, okay? If you don't like hard work, if you don't like winning, if you don't like adversity, then don't wrestle in the off season. Perfectly simple. Wrestling in the off season, is where you perfect your skills. That's where you hone your skills. It's where you perfect your stance, you perfect like your shot, you perfect, like that's where you go to your camps. It's where you like, and something to note, like if you're wrestling in the off season, it's not like just going to practices is not gonna do it. It's not gonna cut it, you know what I mean? You need to wrestle against people you don't normally wrestle. You need to wrestle in competitions, in a competitive nature, because like a lot of times when you're in it, like when you're in practice, you're not as competitive as you would be in a tournament, you know what I mean? And that's like a different level of practice. And all the, all the off season tournaments, you don't have to cut weight, right? You don't have to cut any weight. So I don't understand why you wouldn't. This is just like in season wrestling just like not at the school and you don't have to cut weight like i don't i really don't get why you wouldn't there's way more wrestling too you can go to the state tournament you can go to national tournaments you can go to like there is so much wrestling to be had and don't think that just because in high school you wrestle folk style you only have to wrestle folk style right you like even if you don't practice just try it just try wrestling greco and freestyle Okay, you don't have to be good. You don't have to know what you're doing. You just have to like, know, like it's not like you're gonna get banned from wrestling. It's not like you're gonna get negative points. You're gonna get like humiliated. It's just wrestling. It's just what you do like four months out of the year. Okay, it's just way less shitty. Like when you take weight cutting out of wrestling, it makes it so much more fun. You have no idea. You have no idea. You can be so much faster, so much stronger. This is where you can lift. This is where you can eat as much protein as you want. This is where you can, you have so much opportunity to get better during the summer, especially because you're so young and you're, most of you aren't doing shit. You know what I mean? You'd be scratching your nuts otherwise, or like sliding into girls DMs and failing, or maybe sliding into girls DMs and succeeding. Point being, if you have goals, if you have goals, then that is all a distraction. That is all a waste of time. You know what I mean? It's really hard to set aside and like, obviously you're not gonna completely, most of you aren't gonna completely focus yourselves and hone yourselves on wrestling and wrestle five, six, seven days a week the whole summer. And those of you that do will probably be contenders for state champions. You guys will be contending to be the best. You'll come into the wrestling season fresh off the mat. You know what I mean? But most of you won't. You guys don't have to give up everything. You guys. Like just going to the competitions is enough to make you a significantly better wrestler, okay? I personally like to go balls deep. I like to go like as far, like I try to take things as far as I can and that's probably to a fault. So I'd wrestle as much as I could. Going to camps is super beneficial. Going to camps helps you so much. Clinics, like I can't, I can't tell you guys the difference it made like I was JV one year and then I was varsity the next, right? I was beating kids that I was losing to the year before. Like it's a huge difference, it's a huge difference. And if you do it right, if you practice hard, if you practice with pressure, if you like work on making yourself better at the skill of wrestling because in four months you don't cover, you don't even scratch the surface of what you should learn wrestling. You know what I'm saying? You don't even scratch the surface. So the more time you spend learning, then the better you're gonna be, okay? It's plain and simple. If you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button.
check me out check out my other content out go follow my twitter if you haven't already isaac go 464 but until next time i'll see you guys peace